Well, the frigs are going, YouTubes. All right, well, today, uh, what we're gonna be doing is trying to process a little bit of this tree. So, we got a lot of limbs on here. I'm gonna be uh, knocking all these little sticks off and piling them over in the corner or something. We're gonna use them in the uh, wood stick burning stove, sure. As for the big stuff, I wanna process it down to be used for potentially camping fire this summer if we ever get camping permitted again, you know, and so on and so forth. So. I figure we better get this process now because uh, tomorrow we're uh, going to be busy all weekend pretty much. Got a special project happening. I won't be able to film it because I got to be involved and I got to be all hands on deck. But I'll show you the end result once that's said and done. Once again, sorry for the wind noise. It's windy as friggin' right now. But I got to get this working on this tree. So let's get after it. I don't know how well you can see this, but one of the problems with elm is it's a very fibrous wood. Uh, it's got, uh, you can almost peel it like a friggin' onion for crying out loud. You'd think after a week of sitting out here, laying on the ground, she would have dried out a little bit, but uh, not so much. Anyway, I just decided to hack at it a little bit with a shovel axe to see what kind of damage I could do. I needed to go wider on my, uh, my angles to properly get through the wood, but that's how I got the bushcraft saw for us for that kind of nonsense. I'm gonna knock as many of these sticks off. And then we will uh, be ready to log it up. that's one problem I'm having with the uh, the saw the blade on it is designed for dry wood so on this not dry wood it's catching like I just took a bunch of bark off of one of the pieces here look at the size of like I can make myself some bark rope if I wanted to separate all the strands and then twist it up and make some bark rope out of this this that's what elm trees are known for not for bark rope, but they're known for being really fibrous and a great material to use the bark to make lashing. Like you could use this by itself and make lashing. This is super strong. So if you were in like a bushcraft situation where you didn't have paracord or any sort of rope whatsoever, no cordage, find yourself an elm and strip off the bark and you got yourself some cordage here. Mind you, elm trees are pretty rare and I feel bad for dropping this one, but there's three more right there, so who cares? Anyway, I've been piling the wood over by the garage over there. I'll take you over and show you after. But, uh, yeah, I've been just throwing the sticks over there in the corner. Like, like this. This'll dry up and then I'll come break it up one day. We'll do a cooking with the hobo again and use the uh, hobo stove. Cause that'll be fun. Okay, well, we still got some more tree to process, so pitter patter.
You know, it's kind of funny. I know a guy where if he had a piece of wood like this, he would totally turn it into a slingshot. Maybe you guys watch him too. Maybe. What do you guys think? Should I try it? Should I try and turn it into a slingshot? Let me know in the comments below. We'll hang on to this piece. All right, you can probably hear the music in the background, but uh, I don't have monetization, so who gives a fuck? New problem I'm facing here with the tree is, so you see that limb on the ground there? Well, I gotta figure out how to get that off. So my idea is just to keep wrenching the chair underneath, and then that, or if I can get the chair in the center point, get it up in here, I might just try and strong arm this log out of there. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. If you guys ever wonder why a lumberjack breakfast consists of like a lot of food and a lot of calories, I can tell you why. I've been out here playing with this tree now for just shy of two hours, okay? You can tell I'm winded. I got such an arm pump going on right now. It's unfreaking believable. That's why I keep switching to my left because it's like, I don't want to give this guy all the power. I gotta get some like, you know, some symmetry going on here. So I just work all right hand and then this freaking arm looks like Popeye and this one here looks like pretzel. It doesn't really work out. But uh, two hours, 800 calories. When I came out here, Fitbit said I had 2,200 calories burnt. The two hours been out here, I just hit 3K. Holy crap. Still got a little bit of tree left. It's getting harder as it's getting thicker. But uh, here's the kicker, guys. I never even mentioned this. I got a perfectly good working chainsaw in the garage. <laughs> And it's a gas powered one, not the electric. The gas powered chainsaw. I could add this done already, but I weigh 250 pounds and I need to burn off some of this winter fat. So welcome to manual labor. Let's get back at her. Well guys, I'm not gonna lie, I tried the chainsaw, okay? That chainsaw that I fixed for dad last year, year before, that red one I showed you, yeah, it's duller than a butter knife. I literally sat there for a good five minutes and that's as, as deep as I got. So, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do her with the bow saw because that chainsaw is garbage.
I was wondering why it was so hard to cut. Look at it. <laughs> I cut through that and through that. Then you can see where the chainsaw basically just sucked. So, all right, one more chop and I think we're good. And we're all cleaned up, no more tree here. And you can probably hear a lot of noise happening in the front yard. Well, that's tomorrow's project. done break this thing down well I don't know about you guys but I'd say it's a good field test of the equipment she did good against things that it should not be used on ie big ass trees like that not its permit uh, his purpose but it worked that last cut was a pain in the ass because I didn't know how to prop the wood up so and I really wanted to beat the shit out of it with the shovel axe because hitting things with this is fun I'm gonna put my tools away mosquitoes are out Probably saw one in the lens just five seconds ago. Alrighty, oh, we got one piece. I'll grab that right now. Oh god, my body hurts from doing that, but damn well worth it, let me tell you. So, still got all this shit here to uh, deal with, but I have a plan for that. You know, I was thinking stick stove could be good. There was a video I watched and I wanted to do it back in 2018 when I cleaned up the raspberry bushes, but the problem with the raspberry bushes was they were. Uh, not exactly the greatest material to use. Oh yeah, there's my wood pile. I know, Adam, where'd you learn how to stack wood? Don't worry about it. But I was gonna do it back in 2018 and I never bothered because a lot of the stuff that I was doing, I saw a video online where a guy used the wood chipper, he chipped up a bunch of branches and shit and made them into like chips, you know, wood chips. And then he used a dollar store baking tin, like a meatloaf pan. And he made little pestle logs out of the wood chips. And I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? That could be kind of fun. So basically all he used was water and the wood chips. He let them soak. And then you just set them in the sun and you let the water evaporate and the wood will, so will basically mold together into a log. So thought maybe that could be good. If not, we'll just chip them up. Do what I did last time, let them sit there and rot on the ground and we're good to go. But you hear all that noise outside, you probably heard it grinding and stuff. And well, that's for tomorrow's project. Did I break my camera? It fell? Oh man. I did too. Huh. It's poor, poor GoPro, man. I'm beating the shit out of it. It's because of this tripod piece of crap, but whatever. Anyway, I want to go grab my wallet because I'm freaking hungry. I'm thinking about going to Independent and buying a chicken because they're open till 9. And I guess as we leave, I'll give you a sneak peek at tomorrow's project. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully when, uh, you enjoyed this video today of me doing some hands-on lumberjacking. What the hell's going on with my door? Anyway, uh, any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.